talk about Steve Lacey. Oh, yeah, I did say I was going to say that. So Steve Lacey, apparently, he got into some hot fire. He's in trouble. Well, from public reception or public perception, he's in trouble. I don't. After a certain point, it's just like. These things are going to keep happening. I know he apologized, but like these things are going to keep happening. And I feel like, yeah, it's fucked up if somebody throws their phone at you. It's very fucked up. But at the end of the day. Oh, I saw something. I, apparently, I got lied to. Apparently, I got lied to because I saw something written. Um, but I, I, it could have been a, it could have been a scam. It could have been a lie. But oh, it was a disposable camera. Well, I mean, nobody gives a fuck about a disposable camera. But if you throw something at some somebody, like obviously expect a response. Like it is what it is. Why you would throw a camera at somebody on stage? Whatever. Yeah, but didn't he throw something at him? So the kid didn't throw anything at him. He just said, let me see something and broke his camera. Not at them on the ground. Let me see. Maybe it's on maybe it's on here. I'm I'm sitting up here asking y'all what I could look for myself. Hold on. Let's see what he did. Let's see if this makes sense. Trap money Benny. Bro, who the fuck is this? L promo. Okay, let's see what he's talking about. It's kind of low quality. Smoking all the up. Okay, he said, don't throw shit on my fucking stage, please. I'm confused. If it's still in his hand or her hand, if he asked to see it, how was it on stage already? I'm confused. There's another video. Okay, let me see. Maybe there's another angle. Don't throw shit on my fucking stage, please. Okay. Like, if it's in her hand, then it's not on the stage. I'm confused. It went back down. Okay. I'm trying to see it. Maybe it, ha it must have happened before that. I'm gonna go back a little bit further. Oh my god, who the fuck is this nigga rapping? I didn't see nothing. This is the angle? Hold on, let me go back. Let me find a different angle if I can. Oh god, now we gotta hear niggas' opinions about the shit. I don't care, bro. Why? Bro, like, why? Okay, let me see if I can see it. Okay. Oh, uh, I see it. 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 Yep. You deserve what happened. You deserve it. I see it. And made an example out of one fan and their phone in. Mm, I see. I see. I see. I saw I hit his leg. 
Yep, I get it. Why the fuck would you do that? Nigga dead just threw it. It looked like it might have been an accident, but it really probably wasn't. Like, that's kind of crazy. I just hope after all that, I hope after all that. I hope after all that he grabbed the right camera and he didn't just go to a random fan and ask to see that camera. And like, cause who's, who's to say <laughs> if that camera, <laughs> who's to say if that camera wasn't still on the ground and a nigga grabbed somebody else's phone and broke that shit. I hope he got the right one. I really do. I hope he got the right one. But the way it broke, it couldn't have been like a phone phone. It had to have been the one that he threw up there. I just don't know why the fuck you would throw it at him. Like, what did you expect him to do? Pick it up and take a selfie? Like, I don't get it. Please. Yeah, that's it. Peace. Yeah, like I don't know how long he's been dealing with that. Cool. But that's uh I don't know why they're saying PSA don't throw stuff at Steve Lacey on state. Like like this isn't just the standard protocol for any person you go see at a live show. I don't know why they're emphasizing this with Steve Lacey. Like, oh my god, y'all don't want to fuck with him. Like he gonna go crazy on you, but like I mean, any person maybe re react the exact same way, I, I, I assume. Unless I'm weird. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it jump. It hit him. It, jump, it, it dropped down. And now the nigga mad. I don't see a problem, but I don't like, I can't be mad. I don't know how long he's been dealing with that. So at the end of the day, if he got tired of it, clearly it's been happening. This isn't the first time it happened. Cause I don't see getting hit with the phone once and then being like, yo, I want to end the whole show now. Like it must've happened before. Yeah, the nigga threw it at him. He dead just threw it at him. I don't know why they're doing that. I mean, I don't pay for live shows like that, so. Like, I know niggas probably ain't get their money back. <laughs> I wrote an entire... I agree with you. Like, if, a, if I get something thrown at me, regardless of how much it happens... I'm a low. I'm a. I'm a try my best to try to get the person who threw it removed from the show. Like if I can spot them and I saw the person who threw it, which he did. I don't think it's hard to get security to take that person out of the fucking out of the shit and then remove them from the show so we can continue. But again, based off his reaction and his response, I doubt it's the first time it happened. While on this show, maybe. Or even while he's been touring, touring, it can't have been the first time, bro. If somebody throws, if, if somebody throws something at my sh at me, in any capacity, I'm taking whatever the fuck they threw. I'm either throwing it back at them or I'm breaking it. But if I have an obligation to perform or something like that, I'm probably still gonna finish. I'm probably still gonna finish. 
I don't get why people saying it's TikTok though. Like, do niggas? Does niggas really just now find out about Steve Lacey? What, what what was the hit off the album? Cause I haven't heard. Well, I again I don't have TikTok, so I wouldn't know. Bad habit. I mean, it's an incredible album. I'm glad more people listening to it. But if niggas got to deal with this, bro, I don't know. 